our good friend Luke, aka Snooters. Hello, Snooters. All right. Game one of Snooters versus Swagmaster 69, the Ganondorf versus, uh, worse Ganondorf. All right, yeah. Let's go with that. <laughs> It's just the better players always play the worst younger, that's why. That's why he has better <coughs> results. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so far. Oh, Swagman going off stage there. Alright. Ooh! Okay! Third in the yeah, third I was thing. gonna say, it was looking <laughs> some. The thing with Ganondorf, just like in some matches, he just only needs a few hits. Like, he yeah, doesn't he, have to like, win as many exchanges, which is something that I find very attractive about this character, yeah. actually. With, with a lot of heavy hitting characters, even like people like Bowser, get one grab at like 50, that could potentially be it if it's like. If they're, like, the, if they're out the like ledge a, and yeah, you they're get like the right a last fight situation. Yeah. yeah. Also, down to a hit below the ledge. Snooters <laughs> with the knowledge right there. I didn't think that would work. So uh, Swag got off to a good start, but now it's somewhat play somewhat even. He hasn't really, yeah. Swag hasn't really gotten much uh, big combos or anything. Yeah, Snooters is trying to hold that ledge down. Swag getting his stage control right back, getting a little damage extra attacked on. Okay, yep. <clears throat> Ganondorf snare combo breaking right out of that soft dash attack from Falcon. Not going to get too much off of that. Going to keep the pressure applied though with that reverse up tilt and the air dodge downer. read and Swag is up 1-0. This could very for, well go uh, For by. the most part, uh, Snooters did a good job of making sure he didn't get comboed. Comboed the heck, comboed the hell out of him. But yeah, uh, there's a few openings he racked like, it's like he got like three uppers in a row after a grab, so stuff stuff like that definitely got a... Yeah. Swag was really taking a good, yeah. a good advantage of uh, Ganondorf's weight for getting uh, his maximum punishes in there. As we're going to take this right. to Final Destination for the second game, interesting. Okay. Let's see what is applied here. Um. Okay, a fourth <laughs> smash starting smash. it out. Yeah, Swag confident in his. Swag in his already own looking a little right more. There. I think a little more confident with this movement. Ooh, almost, okay. almost got the downer there. Keep it going. That's gonna be yeah. not a stock as he's able to grab right yep. back there. I believe, like, if he got hit there, he would have died. But uh, since he didn't get hit, he did have the savior of magnet hands that I believed in. So. Is that all right? Ooh, empty hop right me. over that. Not quite. Oh, Ooh, reset big. situation. Okay. Big. I like that. I like that bold decision right there. Not so much of now, a bold, sooner, not sooner so much the bold decision that Swag made of going off stage. Right sooner or later, he was going to lose that stock. Ooh. Yo, what stool? Stool? Right there. Okay. Uh, not quite. Oh, but reverse he has a... up air off of that. That's that's something new. I like now it. He's got seventy percent already. Okay, good timing on that recovery from Suters there. All right, trying to outspace him and Swag respecting that nair, staying out of his space. Snooter is finding a slight yeah. opening off We that. need a back air, that's Over. interesting. Yeah, these, these conversions that Swag is uh, applying, yeah, they're putting a, they put Snooters in uh, rough positions and he's able to take that off with the read on the getup right there. So Swag takes it too well. Mm -hmm. A bit of a dominating faction. I can understand the fear that uh, Snooters had there. Over. He is Ganondorf, of course, a character that embodies that fear and uses it, weaponizes it, as you will. I'm sure he could possibly show that off in uh, Loser's Racket as well. Yeah, see, he, he did a little better of holding him off game one, I think, but I think uh, it was game two, uh, Spike just had a little more confidence, the movement was more crisp, as you could probably see. Yeah, and, uh, he, he was. Yeah, he, he, he really was came through. He was doing a very good job of overwhelming Ganondorf and really not letting him do anything. So we'll definitely see more of a swag, and I hope to see uh, Snoopy Scoobo on losers as well. Is that? 